one of Thailand's most famous faces and one of Thailand's most powerful women. A power that comes from a vast popularity with ordinary ties. She's not a rock and roll star, a politician or a crime chief. She's a doctor, one of only five forensic pathologists in Thailand. But the land of smiles has a dark side. And this outspoken woman, a voice of truth, is in grave danger and needs the protection of bodyguards. Very soon, Dr. Pontip Rajanasanan will face the greatest challenge. Dr. Pontip's work reaches the poorest in the kingdom and the most influential. But one case in particular has brought her into conflict with very powerful forces. It's a case of a member of the parliament who was found dead by shooting uh, far, four years ago. And at that time, the police conclude that it's a suicide. But uh, the case was reopened this year and the conclusion turned to be murder. It was Dr. Pontip's work that led to a murder charge and the integrity of some Thai police officers being questioned. When the Hong Kong case began, I got the telephone from unknown who tried to threaten me uh, to stop talking about the case. Uh, maybe I will be shot by someone. But the murder trial must wait as the controversial doctor becomes caught up in events that stun the world. Boxing Day, an earthquake deep in the Indian Ocean, sparks a series of freak waves around Asia. Three waves, each one larger than the last, crash in, destroying everything in their path. It was a typical morning. Tourists were by the pool, resting in their rooms, or walking on the beach. Between the resorts, many little fishing villages, farms and hamlets, families in fragile dwellings, gone without a trace. In the first few days, police and army arrived and set up their headquarters in Phuket. Nobody knew the extent of the disaster. In this area, over 10,000 people died. In Bangkok, I had a party for my daughter. And when I heard about this, uh, I called back to the minister to ask whether our institute can help. And the governor told me to separate the team to be here in Panga to because uh, I think they have a lot of team in Phuket. Panga is the neighboring province to Phuket and Dr. Pontip made her way there and set up her own operation without police assistance. So you were there the day one? Yes, on the day one. On six in the evening of mm. that day. What sort of problems did you have? Every. Uh, not enough staff and not enough uh, supply. And we have no one who can coordinate. I mean the commander, the local commander. Dr. Pontip was confronted by a steady stream of bodies, arriving at a headquarters set up in the grounds of a temple. I don't know. About 300 or No, no, no. Uh, that's a we, we, we. One of the first volunteers to join her was a young Serbian doctor, Luba Matic. Yeah, it was, it was quite stressful for all of us to face this. Even uh, people who have been uh, involved with the forensic for uh, probably never saw destruction of this scale. Already on the second, third day, the, the composition was so advanced, the bodies were like already beyond the possibility to, to be recognized on a, a simple visual basis. I help you do anything. Just yes, tell yes, me what yes. to do. Volunteers from all over the world arrive to help handle the endless stream of bodies. 
How long did it take to get refrigeration here? Three weeks. But the first refrigerator came here, I think, three days after. But we let this first refrigerator two or three for the foreigner. Mm. Because on the first day, we heard that the team from the overseas want to do the complete identification of the foreigner. So our team didn't do the identification completely uh, of the foreigner. Just look at the foreigner and keep the record and send the body separate to the container. We just uh, concentrate on the Asian. Dr. Pontip was coordinating teams drawn from 14 Thai institutions, as well as foreign organizations that were arriving. She had to deal not only with the growing pile of bodies decomposing in the sun, but the traumatized and the distressed, as she gathered around her the resources to handle the crisis. <laughs> Dr. Stephen Wilson is a physician who splits his time between Hawaii and Thailand. He volunteered his services in the first days. We have hundreds of people working here, and where do you put them to sleep? How do we feed them? How do we get them water? How do we get them clean sanitation? How do we prevent a big outbreak of any contagious disease among the people? It was necessary to start extracting DNA and begin collecting dental records. But the chaotic situation made best practice impossible. So in the third week, the doctor and a team of volunteers were shocked when the Thai police appeared at the temple offering harsh criticism. On the third week, they say that under the Interpol and under the DVI International, we, 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 we did not a good job. I don't like that. No. The doctor's power struggle with the Thai police goes back five years to a gruesome murder case involving a shy boy who cut up one of the students. The dramatic story captivated Thais and made Dr. Pontip a household name. Dr. Pontip's interest in crime and science goes back to her childhood. Her parents were both scientists who worked in industry. My mother uh, helped us to think positive and to pass the pressure uh, that came to our life. The father gave me the rule, the regulation, and to do the good things. I study in boarding school. It's a missionary, American missionary school. So all of the teachers, they taught me to be the good and to help the society. Since I will finish the school, I want to be the interior designer. But my father, he points out the better way should be the doctor. I never regret the course that I've chosen. I think it's helped me to understand life. And I think uh, after the death, I will not be in the hell. But being a child of the 70s, she was an avid fan of TV coroner Quincy, a man of strong principle. In Northern Thailand, she served an internship studying forensic medicine and performing autopsies for the police. When she returned to Bangkok, she found herself at odds with the police for the first time. After eight years in the northern part of Thailand, I moved to Bangkok, Faculty of Medicine in Ramachibri Hospital. And I had case of my medical student who disappeared for about 